All right, we are working with double angle formulas, double angle identities. So here's a real typical example I want you to feel comfortable with. So let's see what they give us. The tangent of some angle is negative 5 twelfths, and notice they give us another piece of information which they need to. That angle is in quadrant 4. They want us to find the exact values of the sine, cosine, and tangent of twice theta, so that double angle. First thing you want to do here, and this is a strategy we've seen before, draw a triangle to represent what they showed us. So I'm going to draw this uh, down here under our blue box. If I can find my uh, pen, there it is. So, got our coordinate plane, right? They tell us it's in quadrant four, so of course that's down here. So if I go ahead and just sketch a triangle in, so my theta is projecting out here. Tangent, they tell us, is negative 5 twelfths. Of course, this side of my triangle in quadrant 4 is going to be negative. So that's my negative 5. And there's my 12. Opposite over adjacent. And now we apply Pythagorean theorem. So 12 squared plus 25 squared, that's 169 square root. And we get 13 there. So there's my right triangle. Once we have that, we're in business. So I've got the formulas up here for you, and they're on your trig sheet, right? So let's go ahead and just start with sine. So sine 2 theta, notice, is 2 sine theta cosine theta. Again, all I did was rewrite the formula. Well, let's plug in. 2, what is sine theta? Well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? I go back to Sokotoa. So it's 2 times negative 5 over 13. And what's cosine theta? Well, it's 12 thirteenths. Again, so Katoa. So 12 thirteenths. Now, if we multiply that through, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, times 12, that is negative 120. 13 times 13 is 169. And so, sine of 2 theta is negative 120 over 169. Not too bad. Okay, now notice for cosine, we've got three different formulas. It doesn't really matter which one you use, okay? And, and these other ones, by the way, they're derived from Pythagorean identities because one is sine squared plus cosine squared. So it's pretty easy to see. There are situations maybe one is more valuable than the other. I'll just use this first one, um, you know, just to illustrate in this example. So cosine two theta, instead of rewriting the whole thing. So we're using this guy right here. So cosine squared theta, well, cosine squared theta is 12 thirteenths squared, right? Minus sine squared theta, sine squared was negative 5 thirteenths. So if we uh, multiply that out, we're going to get 144 over 169 minus, now negative 5 squared, of course, is positive. So minus 25 over 169. Of course, we can just plug that in our calculator if we need to. And we get 119 over 169. So the cosine of 2 theta is 119 over 169. Hey, we've got our sine, we've got our cosine. Let's finish up and get our tangent. <clears throat> now, they do have a formula for tangent. And you, I think you can see what we're doing. Just plug in, right? So tangent theta is negative 5 twelfths. You would just plug it in the top. You'd square it on the bottom. Hey, that's not too bad to do. I think it's a little quicker because I already have sine and cosine just to use another identity. Let me show you that. So isn't tangent 2 theta the same as sine 2 theta divided by cosine 2 theta? Oh, that's just a quotient identity, right? So if I plug things in, so sine is negative 120 over 169. Cosine is 119 over 169. So of course, if I clean that up, negative 120 over 169 times the reciprocal dividing by a fraction, 169 over 119. Divide out, divide out, and you can see what we get there. Negative 120 over 119. There's the tangent. And of course, you could go plug it in to this formula as well. It's going to give you the same thing. So, 
keys. They're going to provide some information. They're going to tell you which quadrant, draw a triangle, and then it's plug and play. Just apply the formulas.